It's time to react to Jamie Oliver Carbonara. Jamie Oliver is the king. He is my inspiration. The reason why I've started my YouTube channel. So, can I react to his video? Let's see. Hi and welcome to Vincenzo's Plate, the place where you get to learn how to cook Italian food in your own kitchen. So many of you have been asking me to react to Jamie Oliver Carbonara, and this is it. He is my favorite chef on the planet, the best of the best. So, am I able to react the way I normally react to Jamie Oliver? He is my king. How do I react? Let's see. Pasta, cream, bacon, cream? Perfect way to start, Jamie. Well done, Jamie. Well done. No cream. Hi guys, we're gonna make spaghetti carbonara, a classic Italian dish pasta. Cheese, bacon, what's not to love, right? But it's really controversial. I wanna give you what I think is the most authentic recipe. So first up, guys. See, what Jamie said is very important. Like, he's gonna show you, us, how to make a classic carbonara, okay? Which it is important to know the classic way. Jamie online also made other recipes, like asparagus carbonara. Oh, there were some other different. Oh, my dad does fish carbonara. The base it's always the same, but it replaces the, the, the pig cheek or the bacon like you normally do with the asparagus to make a vegetarian, or we can use zucchini or with the fish. But you need to remember that the classic carbonara is made with simple ingredients, and that's the ingredients that you use. If you do like Gordon Ramsay, where you change completely the recipe. You can't call it carbonara. This is very important for you to remember. You can change the dish and still call it the same. You only need five ingredients. Guanciale. This is the cured cheek of pork. And as you can see, it's all about the fat. Of course, it's similar to smoked bacon and you can get some pretty good results actually. But you can see this is quite lean. Or there's pancetta. Great, great. He showed us perfectly. He showed us what the guanciale is. Amazing pronunciation, by the way, Jamie. The guanciale he had was fantastic. So you cut it into cubes or into strips, okay? You want the nice chunks. He used the pancetta and the smoked bacon. Uh, I did show you that, okay, it's fine. You're meant to use cured bacon if you wanna use bacon, but okay, I can't go against Jamie. The thing is the pancetta and the bacon that you had there was way too thin, but you always need to get chunks, chunks of bacon or chunks of pancetta, like the guanciale, and then you chop it into strips or cubes. You can't really use the thin version because it doesn't give you that consistency, that, that flavor, that taste that you really want in the carbonara. Then most people use Parmesan, but actually the more classic is Pecorino Romano. Sheep's cheese, it's crumbly, it's salty. See, the big difference between Pecorino and Parmigiano, okay? Lots of difference. Parmigiano is cow, Pecorino is sheep. It's richer, yes, saltier. I know people like to mix Parmigiano and Pecorino, or people just like to use Parmigiano. Do what you want. Um, I like my beautiful, rich, strong flavor of Pecorino. But if you like Parmigiano, go for it. And then optional garlic. So Jamie, Jamie, why did you say optional garlic? Huh? Did you watch Gordon Ramsay video? Why did you say that? Come on, Jamie. No garlic. Grab the pasta by two hands, twist it into the water. By twisting it, it won't stick together. Put a tiny amount of salt in this water because the cheese and the guanciale is salty. Okay, so what he's saying is cheese and guanciale are salty. Yes, that's correct. Uh, you don't put too much salt in the water. Um, yes, that's correct. The other thing is I would recommend you guys is maybe just, um, just because I've, I've got feedback from everyone, maybe just wait to cook the pasta. I would recommend you to start from cooking the meat and the ingredients and then do the pasta once you have the guanciale ready. I'll tell you that because I don't want you to be stressed and be in a situation where your guanciale is not ready yet and your pasta is ready because the pasta then will become too soft. So what I recommend you, if you're not an expert in the kitchen, start by cooking your sauce always and cook the pasta only at the end when you know that your sauce is ready, okay? Or almost ready. So I've got my guanciale. I'm gonna remove the skin and I'm gonna take 
a nice centimetre slice of the guanciale. Roughly chop this to about half centimetre chunks. That's what I was talking about before. So basically the guanciale or the pancetta or the cured bacon you can use, okay? Use cured bacon if you can't find anything else, but cut it into chunks. Cut it into chunks, like he did now with the guanciale. If you guys are vegetarian, or if you guys, for your religion, you can have pork, uh, you, you can use zucchini, you can use fish, use something else, okay? But always have chunks of it. The pan is cold. Turn it on to a medium high heat. The reason I want it cold is because I want to render the fat out. Fa, fa, fantastic. Do you want to cook the bacon or guanciale slowly, calmly, relaxing? You want the guanciale to be delicious. That's why I said to you, just wait to cook the pasta, you know? Because the guanciale might take longer than 10 minutes to cook. Give the garlic a crack and then put it in the pan. And why did you do that, Jamie? Why did you do that? Let's see why you did it. As this starts to sizzle, the fat will just pull out some of that perfume from the garlic. Then... Okay, I see what he's doing. I see what he's doing. He's adding the garlic in there to give the extra flavor. But that's probably a good idea, even though the guanciale already have the garlic in it as a flavoring, you know? But this is a good idea, Jamie. This is a really good idea. As long as you're going to remove the garlic. There's the black pepper. Get your peppercorns in a pestle and mortar. Crack it. Get a little sieve. This is one of the most important little bits, and no one really does it, okay? Honestly, this is the outer skin. This is much milder. What we have here is the inside part, the peppercorn, which is hotter, perfect for a good, hot carbonara. Wow, wow, Jamie, fantastic. Really like that technique. I'm gonna do it, I'll definitely do it. But why did you put pepper on the guanciale? Guanciale already has pepper inside. I'm sorry, Jamie. You're meant to put the pepper in the, in, in the cream that you make with the eggs, not in the, on the guanciale, because you don't need it there. And the problem is you only have that pepper. You didn't spread the pepper. So what's, what's, what are you doing there? You, go, you got three pieces of guanciale with all of pepper, but everything else doesn't have it. Anyway, there is pepper inside the guanciale. That's how it's made. Eggs are really, really delicate. And if you don't treat these right, you end up with stir-fried noodles. And we don't want that. No, we don't want your stir-fried noodles, uh, Jamie. No, we don't want that. <laughs> and I'm gonna crack the egg straight into there. And I'm just gonna add a little pecorino to that. So like 20 grams. Now we're time sense. Only 20 grams? Come on, Jamie. Come on, Jamie, don't be a tight ass. Put more in there. <laughs> We've got dark. Guanciale, you've got the fat that's come out of it. And that's what you want, you want attitude and color. Correct, attitude and color. Beautiful, look how beautiful the guanciale looks. See the oil, the guanciale, the fat from the guanciale create the oil, which is full of flavors. Please remove that garlic, please. To remove that garlic, turn the heat off. And we're gonna drag the pasta and the water into the pan. Bit of water, bit of water. That He's amazing, he's amazing, I love Jamie. I love the way he moves, the way he moves his hands. He's the best, Jamie's the best. That water and the fat, that is what's gonna emulsify to become a creamy sauce. We're not frying anymore, can you hear that? Okay, so this is the moment where you're meant to switch off your pan. In my video, I actually don't switch off the pan. I put the pan on a very, very, very low heat. The reason why is because you can do it, very, very low heat. For people who are not experts, it does help to have the heat very, very low. Okay, now to do this technique where you basically switch off the pan and then you're going to add the cream and toss it, it's a bit more difficult to do. So if you are a basic cook, I will keep the pan at a very, 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 very low heat and have a little bit of pasta water in there. Only then can we think about adding our egg. As we toss, we add some more liquid. The reason why you add more liquid is because it doesn't create the scramble because you know the pan is still hot so you don't get the scramble eggs and um, which you do want a tiny bit of scramble but not really depends like that's a different topic here because some people like to scramble some people don't like it uh, but you do need the pasta water because the pasta water helps to make it creamy to emulsify everything together and it, it is such an important ingredient it could be the most important ingredient 
at this point of the recipe. That's the cream. You get the cream through the emulsification of the cooking water and the fat. So that's, it's a bit unclear how much he used, okay? So uh, it looks creamy, it does look creamy. It, everything he did is perfect. Um, I'm just a little bit concerned about the pepper at the beginning when you put it on the, the guanciale. I'm concerned about the quantity of eggs. He didn't use enough eggs. Um, but let's see what else he's gonna do now. The, it's creamy, it's beautiful, it's done right. Uh, definitely done the right way. Forget about Gordon or Marco Pierre White. This is how you do it. See, Jamie's English and he's showing everyone that English, British can cook carbonara very well. So don't tell me that in Britain, in the UK, you make carbonara your way. Because Jamie, who is the king, is making carbonara the authentic way. And technique and timing. So as simple as this is, it's technical. Get your friends, your family, get them around the table, glass of wine. Look at that, guys, look at that. Carbonara. And you finish with more pepper. Wow. Look how creamy. Look how creamy the pasta is. Look how beautiful the pasta is. He put so much love in it. He did, he did. A round of applause to Jamie. Well done, Jamie, well done. You make me very, very proud. Spaghetti. Carbonara with a beautiful little finishing of pecorino. That is as classic as I can give you guys. He made it so classic. He made it so beautiful. Carbonara should be covered by pepper. And he did that. Carbonara should be covered by pecorino. And he did that. You know, it's amazing, Jamie. Well done. If I'm going to recreate this carbonara, I will be extremely happy. You will be extremely happy. So Jamie Oliver is great. Jamie Oliver is a master. He really wanted to impress all of us, and he did. He did. And I'm going to try to add the garlic in the guanciale just to see if it makes any difference. I'm going to do, to do what he did before. There's a little platter for two people. And of course, the most important thing when you eat pasta is don't watch it. Eat it! <laughs> it's just the king. He's the king, Jamie. I can't wait. Oh, honestly, guys, I want to meet Jamie. I never had the pleasure to meet him. I really want to do it. I was living in London when Jamie started to become Jamie Oliver. And we used to work in restaurants very close by. Um, I was in Patney Bridge. He was in Patney Bridge and that's where he became famous. It was like 200 meters from the restaurant I used to work to. I really wanna meet this guy. Please, please write a comment below and write a comment on Jamie's page. Tell Jamie to watch this video, please. And hopefully we can connect. He's my inspiration. So what more can I say? Thank you guys for watching this episode. I think Jamie did a great job. We will see you in the next reaction video. Just let me know what else I can react to. Just write a link below and let me know what videos I can react to, okay? Let's teach the world how to make the food the right way. And yes, you can be creative. Yes, you can add your twist, but don't tell me you don't wanna learn how to do the classic way. You can do what you want in your kitchen. I'm not coming to your kitchen to react, no. But with these reaction videos, we want to teach you how the, the classic way is done and then once you know how it's done, you can add your twist. I hope it's clear. So thank you so much. It's time to go and make some carbonara.